Greater New Mexico is an attractive place for enterprises and businesses and pioneers and job creators. And that is to finally take advantage of our oil, our gas, our coal, our nuclear, our renewables. Let's get energy. I got to cut spending, I got to cap federal spending, and then I've got to balance the budget. Now, how do you go about doing that? Let me tell you. Let me tell you how you do that. There we go. Okay, that's one idea. Okay, good. All right, he's got an idea. It's not the same as mine, but I appreciate it. In line. And you say this, you take all the programs that federal government has, and you say which of these programs is so critical that we've got to have, and those things we keep, but those programs that don't pass the following test, we've got to get rid of. And this is my test. Is this program so critical it's worth borrowing money from China to pay for it? No! I'm not making for many progressive programs, even some we like. Now, the easy ones we get rid of are like this one. This one I get rid of on day one. Let's get rid of Obamacare. Stay on its own feet or its own wheels or whatever you say. And, and I like the National Endowment for the Arts and the National Endowment for the Humanities, but I'm not willing to borrow money from China to pay for it. I like the fact that my grandkids can watch Big Bird on TV. I think that's, that's wonderful. But, but because they don't have advertising, I think the government has to put in a check. I, I don't think that's right. And so we're going to have Big Bird with advertising probably because I don't want to borrow money from China. to borrow money knowing that my generation will never pay it back and the next generation will have to pay those burdens. It's wrong. We have to live within our means and finally get America on track. To a but I think you know that this campaign is, is about even more than jobs, important as that is. And even more than the reigning in the scale of the government, important as that is. This is also a campaign about two very different directions for America. One is represented by the vision of the founders. I, I love uh, I love our patriotic music. There's a song, America the Beautiful, you know well. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of rain. If corn counts as an amber wave of rain, by the way, that song. But, uh, <laughs> But, uh, but one of the other verses says this, Oh, beautiful for patriot dream that sees beyond the years. The idea is that the founders, in crafting America, in writing the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution, created something that sees beyond the years, not something temporary, something enduring. That's the American experiment, and it worked. And when they crafted this country, they said that God had endowed us with certain unalienable rights, among them life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The right in this nation for each individual to pursue happiness as he or she chooses. The circumstance of birth would not be a barrier to what we might achieve. Instead, our own effort could be that. Could be that. Man, is it? Man, is it? Let's talk about the Constitution again. And by, and by the way, get a job!
I was talking about the course and direction of this nation with the... With